If you'd like to know how to draw a section with this detail in ARCHICAD, you click on the right video. So let's learn, practice, and share. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Math Tutorials. In this tutorial, I would like to make a section from the project that I made. So first I go to the floor plan, then on the viewpoint section, uh, I'm going to select the section tool and I would like to draw a section from the stairs, which uh, usually is the most uh, important uh, element to see in the section. And I'm going to continue this line. Maybe we could see these closets. So with one click here, I'm going to draw this line right here. And then I can choose which side of this line I would like to see in the section. So I prefer this side. I'm going to click once again. And then here on the section, we will see that the name of this uh, section is S01 and we have S01 here. So I'm going to double click on the, this and the ARCHICAD is calculating this section uh, for us. And in a few seconds, we're going to see the section. As you see, we can see all the fields that we selected for each item and each element in the section, but we usually try to emphasize the element that has been cut by a solid color, which I usually use uh, the black. So I'm going to right click on the selected section and I go to the section setting. Here on the first tab, we have the name, the ID, uh, where we can select that uh, if uh, this section line is infinite, limited to a line, or it doesn't have a depth, uh, and we can see only the cut elements. Then here, which is the most important uh, section, here we can select the cut elements. How do we want to see the cut elements? I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to select the uniform surface because I prefer to have black for all the cut surfaces. Then I'm going to uh, click on the uniform cut pens. Then on the surface color fill, we can select any material that uh, we have in the library or even we can make a special uh, material if you don't know how to make a material, click on the card right up here and watch the tutorial. If it was informative for you, don't forget to hit the like button. For this section, I'm going to select the black color. I would also uniform the pens to, of course, a black color. And then I'm going to hit OK. Now we see that uh, all the elements will turn to a black surface. The next thing that I would like to do for this section, I prefer to not see these materials and I want it to all be white. So I'm going back to the section setting. Then on the uncut elements, I'm going to select the uniform pen. So I can select just one pen and uh, material for everything. Then for the uh, pen color feel, I'm going to select white. And of course, I'd rather to have a uniform pen for uncut elements. So I'm going to check this box and I'm going to select a gray pen. Then to see the result, I'm going to hit OK. As you see, everything turned grayish or white and we can see all the important elements that has been cut. To make this section more interesting, and uh, more professional, uh, I would like to add some shadows for this drawing. So I'm going to the section setting once again. And here, if you see, we can uh, check the shadow. We could select a color or a pattern for a shadow. I always use the foreground and I'm gonna select a color like uh, this gray or maybe something lighter like this one. And then we could also set a degree for the azimuth of the sun and the altitude of the sun. So for example, I'm going to try 45 and 45. I'm going to hit OK. And then ARCHICAD 
should calculate uh, the shadows according to the position of the sun. Then this could be the result. It seems here everything is uh, under the shadow, so I'm gonna uh, turn back the degree of the sun and the altitude of uh, the sun, then I'm gonna hit OK. And this result seems much better. If I zoom in, you can see that uh, we can also see the shadows of this ball on the stairs. We can see the shadows of the railings, and we can see so many details. If you would like, you can spend more time to fix some problems or add even more details to this section. But for now, it seems fine. This is what I like about the intelligence of uh, Archicad. It also makes shadows for uh, the shelves that I have in this plan. Moving on, as you see on the section tool, we see that this section is not like in a straight line and we see a break in this section. So for the second section, uh, I'd rather to have a different orientation for the cut. I'm going to select the same settings of uh, the first section with holding down the Alt key and click. Then I'm going to draw this section from here. I'm going to cross the elevator shaft. And as you see here, it will cut the kitchen cabinets. And I don't like this cut. So I'm going to finish it here. I'd rather to look this way. So maybe I could see some windows or these furnitures. So I'm going to click once here. Then with the arrow tool, I'm going to select it here. With this option, I can cut from this point and put the rest of section line in any place that I desire. Here seems fine. Then I go to the S2 section and the ArchiCAD will calculate this new section line for us. Okay, this is the result of the section line. As you see, we can see all the details of the bathroom. We can see these windows. We can see a little bit of the staircase. We will see a complete view of um, elevator shaft. And also we can see the dining area and these windows. Also here I made cornice for the lighting of the ceiling with profile manager. If you would like to know how did I uh, do this, click on the card right up here and watch that tutorial. And if it was uh, new for you, if you learned something new, don't forget to hit the like button on that video. Also from here, we can change this cutting line, this section break to another point. I'm going to put it here. So we can also edit the section line in a way that we uh, desired, even on the uh, section view. And this is it. I made two almost complicated section in ArcCAD just by drawing a line. And that is one of the power points of working with ArchiCAD. To finish this tutorial, I would also would like to explain a little bit more about the section setting. After the model appearance, we have the marker. We could select a different line style for the section line on the plan. We could select a different color. We could change the size and color of the section mark. Then on the text style, we could change the fonts, the colors, the style of writing. And on the uh, markers symbol, we could select a different style for a section line. And on the story levels, we could remove or add these section points, this uh, section information, the markers. Also, we could put in uh, some lines to connect these two markers on the section. I'd rather to not have this line to have a very clear and neat section. And of course, we could change the style of uh, these writings. 
the colors, the fonts, and everything. Also here, there are more options to edit the uh, grid tool uh, for the column access that uh, we can see here on the uh, section. This is it for this tutorial. Don't forget to hit the like button if you learned something new. Um, if this is the first time that you are watching my tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There will be many more interesting uh, techniques, tips, and tricks to work in ARCHICAD and other applications that benefits the architects. I'm going to also make tutorials about uh, those applications. And also, if you have some question about how to work with the section tool in ARCHICAD, how to edit this tool, how to work with this tool, write your question on the comments. I'm going to read all of your questions and answer them immediately. Have a nice day, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.